All right, guys, so this is uh, my latest toolbox update for 2017. Got a bunch of new stuff. There's one of the aircraft that I work on. But uh, I got a lot of snap-on stuff over the past four, five, six months. And uh, it's high time that I finally get you guys an update. So here's my screwdriver drawer. You can already see some snap-on screwdrivers that I have in here, as well as some clines, which are there to the left. I've already used the hell out of this snap-on ratcheting driver, as well as the smaller one that I got with it, and this uh, blue point uh, side angle screwdriver. I really like that thing. This is just for opening paint cans, stuff like that. It's a beater driver. And that Craftsman T-handles come in handy quite a bit. It's uh, really proved its use. Now here we have my pliers drawer and uh, most of it snap on as well. These long handled, uh, long reach side cutters are extremely useful for taking out cotter pins in hard to reach places. Uh, same with some of these other tools, they've just really come in handy. Uh, I've actually been really impressed with these blue points that I got, the miniature pliers that I received from them, and uh, they've proved to be pretty good, as well as these locking uh, vice grip style uh, pliers. They've really shown to be really good quality tools. And now in all honesty, this is probably the most expensive drawer I have. Uh, pretty much all of this stuff is snap-on except for this ratchet half-inch drive. It's a 90-tooth cobalt and that rail behind it has got uh, cobalt, soc er, cobalt sockets on it as well as that Proto inch and 7 uh, socket which has one or two specific uses on the aircraft that I work on. Pretty decent socket though. I'm happy with the quality. I've also got those U-joints and some 3 8 inch extensions extremely extremely impressed with these 3 8 drive ratchets i've already used all three of these and i absolutely love them uh, i've not been able to find a single thing wrong with them same with the 3 8 drive sockets that i've got my hand on uh, quarter inch we do use a lot and both this little stubby ratchet and that normal size ratchet have come in handy these torque adapters i've already used quite a bit um, especially for you know torquing applications where you can't go straight on to something it has to be at an angle to get the right torque but all of this stuff I have used every piece of it so far been very satisfied with this purchase alright so next drawer is a lot of the stuff that wouldn't fit in the socket drawer I've got some snap-on adjustable wrenches a couple breaker bars these are Tecton, Tecton crow's feet. They're pretty good for what they are. That's a snap-on crow's foot. Uh, snap-on speed handle and cobalt uh, pick set. This is just my job set radio, a tool bag, extension cord, stuff like that. And now we have here my wrench drawer. I have some blue point ratcheting wrenches, standard and stubby. Absolutely love these as well. I've had these snap-on standard wrenches for a long time, years, six years, I think. And these offset snap-ons have come in handy as well. Here is my larger plier drawer. Uh, these two long, pl long needle nose pliers are great for cotter pins. Um, you can really never have too many tools for the extraction of cotter pins in this job. These are blue point uh, safety wire pliers. I absolutely love these. In this field, you don't want to cheap out on a good pair of uh, safety wire pliers because you do use them a lot. That's a that's my uh, Mac uh, Mac Tools Canon plug plier, and then these two uh, adjustable pliers are a Nipix, which is the bottom one, and the Snap On is this one. Uh, both of them have really come in handy. I've been really impressed with the build quality on both of them. All right, so this drawer has a lot of different things in it, but mainly it's inspection type tools, a tape measure, a couple of hemostats, which come in handy from time to time. These Kershaw shears have been a great investment. Uh, this has actually been a really good flashlight, but I already broke it and dropped it, so I epoxied it back together. 
but I use that more than this LED flashlight. Uh, it's just been a lot more convenient. Now, those are the hemostats I mentioned. That's just uh, some blades. Uh, let's see. Got that pickup tool. I've had that forever. Uh, six inch and 12 inch ruler. Now here's my hammer drawer and associated tools, you could say. Um, really happy with these snap-on and blue point hammers I've got. Uh, I've got a couple different things, some punches, easy outs for screw extraction. Uh, that's a phenolic scraper. Those two pry bars are snap-on. Been really happy with them so far. Uh, you can also hit the end of them with a hammer if you need to. Uh, they're just made really well. Definitely a good tool to have. I have an old finishing wrench that was my grandfather's, and uh, that's pretty much it for this drawer. Just really big stuff in that drawer. And here's my uh, electrical drawer, I guess you could say. Uh, it's really just all my drills and batteries. I've got a Milwaukee impact driver, which I use from time to time, and I use this Festool set a lot more. And you'll see it when I pick up the, uh, the end here. You can actually drill and, you know, insert and remove screws at an angle with that adapter. And I didn't think it would be, you know, that handy at first until I started using it. And now everybody who I work with uh, has asked to use it as well. And everybody just loves it. I love it. It's a great tool. Um, there's absolutely no buyer's remorse really with any of these tools that I've purchased recently, but this Fest tool drill, none whatsoever. I should have bought one of these years ago. I'm really happy with their build quality too. Uh, they definitely know how to make a power tool. And this last drawer is pretty much just uh, safety stuff, hard hat, bump cap, got a pair of gloves in there, uh, a couple, uh, I got a pair of safety sunglasses, safety glasses, goggles, and my tap and die set that I got from my grandfather. And that's it.